you can give all of the people that you call your friends all the love in the world and they'll still complain. They'll still complain because they live a life that's complicated and lame. You heard me. It's the month of Ramadan. Oh, we going to unpack it today. Thank you, Lord, for another beautiful day. As we go about our day. And as I cherish my day, and I'm very thankful and very humble. I praise no other God. There's only one. He has many names. Just don't be disrespectful of him when you mention one. We're living in a time right now where we have to go ahead and call the spade a spade. In the book of Genesis, we know for a fact that the fallen angels got their asses kicked all out of heaven because they wanted to operate any, many, many more. How they go in with everybody's hope? America, in these United States of America, has opened her legs to every nation. That hole is a hole of the worst of the whores of the whores of the whores. So these fallen angels used to have skin that looked like us, of the original man. When God made us from the mud, from the dirt, these fallen angels said, shit, we ain't bowing down to worship this creation. When we made from fire and they're made from dirt. But see, it's from the dirt that gives us the very sustenance to grow food to eat. It's from the dirt is where everything, the rubber and the road meets. And so these fallen beings lost all their color and everything brittle, pointy noses, and no more like this. No more thick lips, no more of the nature and full nature of God, the majesty that God has. He bestowed upon us when he brought us into creation. Damn it, we gonna unpack it this morning. So they said, so their job is to come down here and raise as much hell, H-E-L-L, -L, as they can and, and, and take as many people that will sell their souls for pennies on a dollar, almighty so-called dollar of gold. At the end of the day, the promoting of killing the original man and robbing us of our original land, which is the United, United so-called states of America, they turned them into the United States of America. You got to keep your grass cut, damn it, so you can watch these snakes. When people going through the idiocy and ignorance of stupidity and self-hate, they backdoor brother like young Dolph. Assassinate takeoff. And have no regard for human life whatsoever. All they care about is some bling bling and landing they dumb asses in sing sing. These bastards are throwing bricks at the penitentiary. They can't wait to get in prison. Cause out on the streets they hate the, you know they had their pants sagging down showing their ass. But do what shit they can go in there and show their ass now. And they run into that penitentiary. The killing and the assassination of young Dolph was one of the stupidest things I ever seen in my life. But you can give all these people, your so-called friends, all the love in the world. And the best joy you spend seven days out of seven days a week. Only because they don't want to see you grow or amount to anything positive at all. They'd rather see you fall. And when everybody act like they're your friends, even your Muslim brothers, damn it, even your Muslim brothers, or your Christian brothers, or your Buddhists, did y'all know Buddha is black? Yeah. Hallelujah. They steals everything from us.
just so they can use it against us to set us up. And booty lickers and backstabbers are acting like they don't know what's going on. So, the most important person to show love to any given time is your family. And it's sad because the, the same person you're supposed to be trusting will go right behind your back. And you sitting up here wondering why you can't trust them. But they already in front of your face. How you gonna trust them behind your back? So this is what we're dealing with. When you know that it ain't no more love there, why are you still hanging around there? If you know that these people don't love you or like you, quit setting up here acting like you being good to them is going to make them not set your ass up when them killers come, damn it, and when uh, for a few dollars, damn it. At some point, a hater don't give a damn. It don't, it don't even become a be about the money. Damn it. They'd rather go back to how she was before you became a big time rapper. You know, when you were just somebody they knew that was local, they would rather your ass go back to that way. They don't give a damn about the money. Damn it. Same way in your work profession. When you go in and you trying to come up and grow with God and you believe with every fiber of your being that what, that what you standing on is business. They don't want to hear nothing about no business. They don't want to see you grow with your business. They say they do. But behind they back, they hate you because they can't be you. They wants to be you. And it eats people up when they can't transform into somebody else instead of digging deep inside their damn self and finding the best that God has to offer them with the gift that he has given them. They're afraid to use it. So they end up coming across some a good people and person like you to abuse you and the situation they abuse it. And at the end, End of the day, my mama always told me, so is my father God in heaven. Love you. If they don't want to see you come up, then they must want to see you go down. Either way, you don't let nobody keep you down without bringing the damn fight downtown. Right in the face. Justice for young Dolph with success and take off. Assalamu alaikum. So stay true.